Join us for the very first IFL Live at London's Indigo at the O2, Sunday, August the 13th, with me, Coogan Cassius, and some very special guests, Eddie Hearn, Darren Barker, Johnny Fisher, and more. Tickets now on sale. So in the words of Eddie Hearn... You get up, you dress up, and you fucking show up. This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Iblast. Where well, it doesn't really get more clinical than that, Liam Davis with an emphatic first round stoppage. BT have changed to TNT and you de- definitely uh, delivered some explosiveness tonight with the Haribos just gone in. Just talk me through that knockout. Yeah, I w- obviously started um, TNT with a bang. Couldn't have gone any better. In my hometown, um, backed up everything I said I was going to do. And feel like I show my true worth tonight. I knew I was capable of getting him out of there and um, I've done it in perfect style. I feel like I haven't, I can't really remember, I've got to watch it back, but I knew I hit him hard and um, like I, say, I feel like I'm becoming a solid fighter now and showing that. Liam, I know you said you are going to put him away early. You said that to me very confidently, but to put him away like that in the first round, a tough man like Jason Cunningham, did you even imagine that could happen? Yeah, like I said... I'd, I said, um, I've been telling my manager for weeks that I'm only going to be doing two rounds. I generally believed if I eat him. Anyone that spars me or knows me knows I'm a big punch. I'm a big super bantamweight. And uh, the last couple of fights, it was my first 12 rounders and I hurt my hands in the last one. So I ain't had the chance to show it. But tonight I showed um, my full capability. And like I said, this ain't enough. I still want more. There's plenty more to come. I'm going to be back in the gym. Going to keep the same mindset that I've rolled into this one, and um, I want a world title, man. I, I want to bring, bring big nights like I have the last couple to Telford, and I want them to keep getting bigger. And um, the cherry on the cake now is a world title, but it might come in time. All I've got to do is keep improving, and um, I think the way I work, how much I want it, it's only a matter of time till I get it because I think I truly deserve it. And yeah, it's. Uh, it's going to be coming, it's just a matter of when. Is it worrying for the rest of the division that you seem to be getting better and better with each performance? Yeah, I think, you know what it is? You'll still have people say something about me. That's I don't just, think they can tonight. Yeah, but that's just the way the world spins, you know what I mean? It's one of them I, I don't take. I'm focused with my team. I've got my dad who, like, do you know what I mean? In, in, that, in my, um, on my phone every day, making sure I'm hustling away at this boxing and... Um, I feel like with him, my uh, other coach, Simon Barristock, Andy McFarlane, Errol Johnson, everyone at BCB, you know what I mean? I'm, if I cheat, they're on me, even my wife. So um, it's a teamwork, do you know what I mean? And they're playing massive roles into my success and um, it's only right that I give 100%. And I feel like over the last two years since the Leech fight, when I have, give it 100%. You've seen the best of me and... Um, there's plenty more to come, trust me. I feel like I've still not been in a tough, tough fight and uh, I walk into these nights ready to go through fire, trust me. I'm ready to go to war if I have to. And um, I ain't had to dig that deep yet. As soon as you finished them, I saw you bang the ropes and say something to George Warren. Were you talking to him? Yeah. What did you say? Um, the price just went up, I told him. Uh, the price just went up and... Um, I want to be out soon as, no injuries, fresh as a daisy, and I have a week off, chilling, and uh, I'm going to be back in the gym, and I think he told me October, so uh, I'm going to be on the phone to my manager if he's left now, trust me, first thing in the morning, I'll be balling him to make sure we get that sorted, because I'm 27 years old, I think that's my 14th fight, I must be, I'm in the top 10 in the world before this fight, so I must be high now. And uh, I'd love someone higher above me. I'd love the Marlon Tapas, but I think he's fighting a new way, which obviously makes sense. Fair, good luck to him. I'd love the Sam Goodman fight, the Liam uh, Rashmi fight, the American guy, I can't think of his name. TJ Donaghy, Dennis McCann. Are you going to come down to your call on August 18th to, to watch Dennis and Baluta? Yeah, yeah, I'll come down. Yeah. I'll come have a weekend. We've never done a weekend away in London. Um, so I can eat. last time I was there, it was preparing for this, so I couldn't eat what I want. So yeah, I'm going to come down. Uh, to have a few Harry Bows ringside. Have a few Harry Bows ringside, and uh, hopefully we can sort it out. He seems like he's up for it. Do you know what I mean? We're both up for it. It makes sense. We can both earn some good coin, and uh, he gets his chance at grabbing all these belts.
Congratulations, brother. Well done. Thank you. Join us for the very first IFL Live at London's Indigo at the O2, Sunday, August the 13th, with me, Coogan Cassius, and some very special guests, Eddie Hearn, Darren Barker, Johnny Fisher, and more. Tickets now on sale. So in the words of Eddie Hearn... You get up, you dress up, and you fucking show up.